Hello there, Penners. How's it going? Now, you may be wondering why I'm wearing a helmet indoors. Well, first bit of good news. With filming at races, there's all the legalities nowadays. And with the UK race organisers kind of opting for a lot of these UCI rules, one of them is a breakaway mount for filming. So this here, Bell Super DH, I've got the chin piece as well, but I haven't got it on right now. I just wanted to show it here. This is the Fast House one. Love this because when I saw it at uh, the Mulvans on display, this thing just jumped right out of me. I love the look of it. It's really nice look. It goes with all our black and white stuff. Also, see here, this is a breakaway mount. And this is actually one of the few helmets to have this and also have the chin piece that goes on it. So this is like a do-it-all helmet. So, Bell, firstly, big thanks. They've hooked us up with this. There's one for me, one for Todd, and one for Sonny. So we'll be rocking the bell. You never know, we might have some of the smaller half face ones for our more adventure type stuff in summer. So dead chuff with that. That's the first thing. The second thing, I've got this race at Bike Park Wales tomorrow. It's the High Bike Mini Enduro. It's a mashup. The orange has been taken to bits and some of the parts have gone on to my latest build. This is before the Stanton FS29, oh, that's a full suspension. Obviously I've done this stuff on Sonny's bike and I could not resist getting a Switch 9 a hardtail, so check it out. So there she is, our own personal colour scheme Switch 9 steel hardtail. So let me talk you through this bike. Okay, so a lot of these products have come off the Stage 6. Let's start down here. We've got the new hookup with the MVs. So these are MV M7s. They've got that plastic rim strip to avoid any pinch punches. These have got these beautiful, super shiny Chris King hubs. On this I'm running the XT 4 pot brakes that were on the Stage 6. And I've gone for Shimano rotors. We've got the Helm forks, these are Helm 29 air forks. Coming up here, Martello, these are the Vittoria tyres. This choice, this is more of a bike park stony tyre choice. We've got the Martello on the front. I've got no liner in the front, but I have got an airliner in the back. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, got the RRP. Max Protection Pro Guard on the front. I've taken the stickers off because it had the orange ones. It didn't go with the colour scheme. Craig is making us our own special silver ones at the moment. They're not quite ready. So looking forward to getting them on. Obviously we've got the Fenwick's logo there using all the Fenwick's. Coming up to the head tube. Stanton supplied the headset because the posh Chris King ones are going to go onto the full suspension bikes. I've got the Pace, I think it's 32mm stem, nice and short, I've had that on the orange for a while. The Protharsis Carbon Bars, this beautiful Cane Creek remote lever for the dropper. There's the four part brakes, the levers, and the other one, some brand new GE1 Ergon Slim Grips. Love the Slim Grips. Now, talking about the frame, check that out. They've actually put my pinned logo under the lacquer. Um, this is a large. It's externally rooted, apart from obviously the dropper post, which wasn't too bad actually, considering I use, couldn't use my magnetic wire things. Obviously with it being steel. And there they put my name on the chainstay. How cool is that? So down here, we've got the Unite chain device, which is still going strong. These things are bulletproof. I never, ever lose a chain. Uh, last year's, these are the XTR cranks. 
I've got plans for these. I'm going to see if I can get them polished up and all the black removed off them. I've got a new set for the new bike. We have the Crank Brothers Mallet Ease. Beautiful pedals. Got the hang of these now. The chainring on this is an oval, absolute black. I think it's a 32. Going up, got this new strap from Lowry. Lowry, keep saying it wrong. Can't remember which one it is because they made a big deal out of whether it's Lowry and Lowry. Um, but great strap, really like it because it's got these sort of tensioning straps. You can put the stuff in it before you put it on the bike. Going up. Crank Brothers Dropper, this is the 160mm or 165 this thing's been no bother, it hasn't gone wrong once, I've got really super long service intervals, dead chuff with that. I know we sort of test things but, and we are hooked up with people but our choice is only quality gear as far as I'm concerned. This is the Ergon Enduro Saddle, lovely comfy saddle. I think this is the narrow one. Going back down on the back, we've got the Victoria Morsa. So this is like a, they're semi-slick. Actually, I'll show you the tread on these tyres. I didn't show you the front one. So that's like a semi-slick for bike park wells. It's all stone. Obviously, I wouldn't normally be using that at this time of year. And then heading back over to the front, I'll just show you the tread on this. This is their sort of all-rounder. The Martello, 2.35 I think they are, except the back looks like loads bigger for some weird reason, don't know why, but great tyre. Um, heading down, like I said, M7s, but I've got an airliner in the back, which is the insert. Now, Envy say you do not need an insert because you won't pinch puncher, but my theory is, yeah, that may be true, but... You can always slash a tyre on a super massive sharp rock and you've got more chance of doing this on a hardtail. So, if that happens and I've got an airliner in, at least I can finish my run rather than risking like destroying my wheels and carrying on, which I wouldn't really want to do. Now down here, uh, we have the, I think it's 4611 Shimano. This is 11 speed, a brand new 11 speed cable XTR mech and the new XTR cable shifter up the front. I've we'll put this um, hook loop or velcro tape on here just to quieten in things down in case the chain's slapping on that chain stay. Now one of the first things I did with this bike also was I went to Invisiframe and they sorted me out a kit. It's the first time I've fitted a kit on a bike myself. I'm slightly concerned about this but do you know what? It was a doddle. It's a lot easier on a hardtail, but uh, the key for that, clean hands, keep your hands wet so you don't get the fingerprints and then also get the hairdryer on it afterwards. I think that's about it. I hope you like this build. I'll just back up so you can have a little look at it. So these things are 29 Quite long, quite slack, not ridiculous. But beautiful bike, I'm so excited. So just to say I'm like really, really grateful about these products and people supporting us. It's just so mind blowing the people who are sort of hooking us up and getting involved. Every day I have to sort of pinch myself that this is happening. Um, so we've got this race tomorrow, Bike Park Wales. First time I've ever raced on a hardtail. And I know one of the stages there, I think it's what's occurring. I've never ridden it before. So it has got several jumps on it. So I'm a little bit, well, I'm shitting myself to be honest. But let's get the rest of the stuff packed up. Todd's not coming. He just doesn't want to race. He says he just wants to chill out. Fair enough. I'm not going to make him. I'll get ready and get and meet my mate Vinny in the morning, who I'm giving a lift to, and get down to Bike Park Wales. Out. Thank <laughs> you.